But before we begin the video, let's talk about Lingo Pro, the ultimate language learning app with cutting-edge AI technology. If you like Japanese culture and want to learn Japanese or even practice your English, this website is perfect for you. With Lingo Pro, you can easily read and translate Japanese with its romanization feature, chat with an AI trained for language learning, and practice real-time voice conversations. Use your voice to talk with the AI and get responses in both audio and text, making it feel like a real conversation, and choose from a variety of voice options for the AI in every supported language. Save time by practicing whenever, wherever. No need for scheduled classes. Lingo Pro is ready when you are. It's also 15 times cheaper than traditional tutors, offering a month of access for the price of one traditional lesson. And it doesn't stop at Japanese. With over 20 languages to choose from, you can explore new cultures and connect with people worldwide. Plus, Android and iOS apps are coming soon. Ready to start your language learning journey? Visit lingopro.app today for a seven-day free trial, available for a limited time. Links in the description. Happy learning. 10. Hortensia Saga After the assassination of mostly all of the royal family in the rebellion, led by Duke Rugus, and after the death of the MC's father, obviously. I mean, I really had to see that one coming a mile away. He's then given the sword of his father and reminded of his promise to become a warrior, like none other, for the sake of protecting his land, the Albert Dominion. Training with him is Marius Casterde, a boy that seems more than meets the eye, obviously a girl. 9. Chain Chronicle Heisidus no Hikari Another one of those video game adaptations that people love to hate on. You're sure starting to wonder whether the name of the video doesn't fit the context at all. But Chain Chronicle Heisidus no Hikari shows you a world that's beautiful and grand at the same time, with the show bringing a side to royalty that we haven't seen in a lot of shows before. Sure, Yuguto has its share of wars and battles ready to get any action head glue their eyes to the screen. But with the anime pulling up the ace up its sleeve all of a sudden, these monsters won't be the only thing any of us would have our hands full with. Aram is literally about Aram his way through the universe that the anime is based in, and with a lot of foes to serve as the perfect target for him to pull off those moves, Chain Chronicle Heisetes no Hikari is a must-watch for any fantasy action fan out there. 8. Kumo Desuga Nanika We follow the story of a girl that got reincarnated in a labyrinth swarming with monsters as a small defenseless spider. In the wild, it's eat or be eaten. Being at the bottom of the food chain, the newly reincarnated spider has to find a way to survive in the harsh environment she found herself in. She has to adapt to her new reality and discover her strengths while covering her weaknesses. Who knows? She might even end up becoming the next almighty demon king. 7. To Be Heroine This one is actually a sequel to the anime called To Be Hero, but due to the independent nature of the story, it also works well as a standalone. It begins with the heroine, Hanaya Futaba. She's been living an ordinary life up to now, but then the story happens and she unexpectedly ends up in another dimension. Now here's where it gets interesting. The one who summoned her is an 8-year-old boy, and what he wants is for her to fight the assassins that the other baby bosses send after him. Does this plot sound crazy enough for you? Though I should mention, this isn't just what this anime is all about. There's also a lot more, as you'll find out once you start watching it. It's a surprisingly well-done anime, only seven episodes long, and yet well worth it. 6. Carnival At the 10th spot is none other than Carnival. The 2013 anime excels in its use of action and science fiction. This anime throws in a lot of mystery to ensure that the viewer is at edge all the times. A beautiful cannibalistic woman captures Nai, a young boy who is searching for his friend. One day, the thief known as Gariki robs the woman's house and allows Nai to escape. However, the woman transforms into a monster and chases them. The boys run into a government agency that deals with monsters and they decide to join the group. The path they have chosen is a tumultuous one, but this might be the only way for Nai to find his friend. 5. Magic Kaito 1412 This spin-off to the longest-running anime series gave fans just what they wanted, a closer look at the criminal that not even the Sherlock Holmes of anime Conan is able to watch. Well, Kaito isn't your ordinary heist master. 
since the guy is just too good at what he does. You could say it runs in the family in this case. Magic Kaito 1412 is a different experience through and through, with Kaito showing us how theft and fear can be the solution to some of the worst problems fate has to give. A form of justice no anime has ever shown before, seeing Kaito be successful at everything he does would make you cheer on the guy all the more, since those gems sure look a lot valuable, no? Follow the looping of the modern era as he shows every other thief wannabe how it's done in a show where the only way to serve justice is by stealing more and more and more. Four, Kyao Kara Mao. This translates to King from now on. The demon-themed anime explores adventures, fantasy garnished with comedy. In this anime, we see Yuri Shibuya save a victim from his bullies. The bullies then turn their attention to him, and in a twist of fate, he's transported into another world. In this strange world of demons, it is revealed to him that he'll become the next demon king due to his physical traits. As expected, some of the demons oppose his supposed kingship. Nevertheless, when he utilizes his magic and wins a duel, they all deem him worthy to become their new king. And now, he has to maintain the peace that has existed between humans and demons. 3. Trigun you know, for someone that has a 60 billion double dollar bounty on his head, Vash doesn't do that much killing. Makes you wonder if the rumors about him being a humanoid typhoon and a stampede that only brings death and destruction with it are actually true. Spoiler alert, yes, they are true. He did destroy a city and did kill hundreds in the process, a tragedy that still haunts him to this day. But what really makes him who he is and teaches us really why Vash is like that and what makes him tick is the troubled past he has with his brother Knives. After he attempted to, well, wipe out all humans by crash landing their ships on the planet they were orbiting after life on Earth became obsolete, Vash is portrayed as a goofy buffoon that wouldn't kill even if his life depended on it, and his many scars that decorate his body can vouch for that. He's such a complex character that deserves a video on his own just to explain his way of life, his ideals, and what made him like that. However, we can't do that now, so we'll have to cut his story short for today. Two, Vanitas no Carte. Vampire action, blood and gore, scintillating animation, and a deeply rich plot. This 2021 anime is really good. The Legend of Vanitas, Vampire of the Blue Moon, is one that strikes fear into the hearts of vampires. His cursed grimoire is now in the hands of a human doctor who calls himself Vanitas, much to the surprise of Noe Archivist. This Benitas and Noe begin to explore the dark world of vampires full of many mysteries, a raging illness surfaces that can only be cured when the doctor uses the grimoire to recover the vampire's true name. Politics abound in this historical vampire shonen, and the witty dialogue and comedic back and forth between the main characters is sure to leave a smile on your face. 1. Mob Psycho 100 this anime is notorious for its cool animations made by Studio Bones, the one responsible right now for making Boku no Hero Academia 2. The show has amazing fights and out-of-this-world sequences with a lot of cool-looking characters, but the plainest character you'll ever see is Mob himself. He looks exactly like Saitama, but with hair XD. Some even started to make absurd theories that he's his son or something like that. He might seem emotionless concerning his looks, but when he's driven into the corner and his rage is let loose, well, to put it mildly, if you're in the same city as him, you're most probably dead. He's so powerful when he loses control over his powers, he levels complete cities in matters of seconds. This guy can't be underestimated and is the personification of the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. I'm a ghost in the shell, push through hell like gun grape. That's a story to tell of you.